Hey, Robert Murray here, and in this video, I wanna give you an update on Groove Member version 2.0, which is in sandbox mode. And also, if you hold on for a moment, I'll give you access to $2,000 worth of my free bonuses. So, cue the intro. Okay, so I'm into um, Groove, I've logged in, and uh, I'm inside of uh, Groove member here. And when I go to, so these are all my old um, version one memberships, but I'm gonna go to new membership. And we're just gonna kind of do a demo setup. Uh, I'm just gonna call this new crypto passive profits program. Uh, let's do crypto bot. Let's call it member. I think the original one I did was crypto bot. I'm going to use my crypto bot masterclass domain. I'm going to go in and add it as a subdomain. And I think this is one I set up about 10 minutes ago. Let's go and have a quick look for a niche. Put it inside finance. Featured image. Um, I don't know if this is, in fact, I think this is just a featured image for the membership. I don't think it's a featured image for inside the members area. So I'll use my, uh, my regular, I think it's this one. And here, instead of leaving it as Groove member version one, let's go for Groove member version two. And as you see, it's in sandbox mode. I'm gonna click create membership. And now inside of here, you've got um, memberships and you've got courses. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just uh, do some copy and paste and bring some lessons and some stuff over. Um, here are your settings, which is what we've just modified. So you can come back here in here and edit uh, all of that. This is coming soon. So I think we're going to leave all of that there. And we're going to come back to the, the dashboard and click customize on the membership. And as you can see, we've got a groovy um, theme uh, that's saying there's three themes there. And then we've got some more coming soon. And the other new thing you can do on Groove Member 2.0 is you can customize the, um, the login page as well. We're going to start with uh, customizing here. So this is your members area once people have logged in. So it's like a website inside. So you've got courses here. You can add additional content if you want to. Uh, you can obviously modify this title here. You can modify this background. And also you can go in here and uh, modify the logo, etc. And it all automatically sets you up a home and about us, a support, contact us, terms and conditions, privacy policy. Then you can see down here you can um, update these as well. You can go in and mess around with the navigation. So if I didn't want the about us to, to be in the nav, I could just hide from navigation. You can see over there it removes it. Or if I want to re-add it there, I think I can do that. Also, I think I can drag. It may not work yet. No, uh, but later on, once this has been updated, you'll be able to add that there. You can go into your footer as well. So we can see down here at the footer, I've got my terms and conditions and my privacy policy. Same thing, you can just go in here and hide and move. And also you can update your logo. So let's add our uh, CryptoBot logo. I think that's it there. And same thing, I think you can choose the size Oh, there you go, you've got to change it in the footer as well. There it is there. And we need to save that there. So that's your navigation settings. Obviously up here and down in the footer. Uh, you can go in, uh, let me check, I think you need to stay no, I think actually the, the settings up here, the colors, etc. I think here we can change this background. So we can change this text here. 
Uh, so let's just put, I'm just going to copy it from over on my actual live membership area for the crypto bot passive prompts program. save that there I'm pretty sure I can obviously change this so I can change that background there uh, I did have a black background with a bit of the um, the logo embedded onto it there you go so you can see that there let's just see what that looks like there okay that's cool uh, again I'd modify that probably it's got a little bit of white above and a little bit below and I'll probably do, uh, so yeah, like I said, it looks like you have to go into the settings to, to modify these. So we'll come back over to, and, and, and you can see here, you can add additional content if you wanted to. If you press enter inside of here, you can then add a image, a video, some code embed or a button, or you can add additional content sections, uh, video content checklist, download, audio, accordion, so you can see there I've added a video section and then I can go into here and I can modify this video. This will give me my video library. So let's say it was that one I wanted. And then that will instantly bring that one across from my Groove video. So, you know, again, this is in Sandbox, so none of this is perfect yet. It's all um, being updated as we speak. Uh, and this is where once someone's logged in, these will be the courses they've got access to, and you can't edit these here. You have to edit these in the other settings. And then these will be the other courses you want to give them available where they can click to buy these courses. And you can see here as well, they can open uh, it up in tile or a different format. So we'll save that there. You can also see it um, tablet optimized and mobile optimized. So once we've clicked on templates and then um, we can change this to um, the light setup or the dark setup or a custom setup. So that's what I'd be looking for. And I'd probably be looking for a white background at the top here. Obviously that text now disappears. So let's change that round so the text is black. I think that um, logo pops off of there a bit nicer. And the same thing down the bottom here, we can go in and go into the footer. Same thing, just switch that round so that the text is black. And the body, so I could change the background color, um, the, the tile background color, the heading color. The sections, so it's all controllable inside of here the button settings. So I'm probably going to go with red on those because um, everything in my crypto box passive products program is, is red, black and grey. So you can see up here with the logo. Okay, liking the look of that. Um, I wonder if I can change that, the body, the tile, background colour, heading colour. So this is the section by the looks of it. Okay. And we'll click save there as well. So you can see very quickly, uh, even though it's pretty much the first time I've been in here, it's pretty straightforward. So this is where now someone wants, when they land here. And again, this is like its own website inside the members area. It's got, as I said, you can add or remove these and, and, and do whatever you want over here. Uh, if I come back into the dashboard. Uh, now we can go in to add our courses. And it automatically adds this course here because uh, we've created this. So let's go in and edit this course. And I'll be doing the same thing here. And I'm not necessarily going to do this in all of them. I just wanted to give you an idea of how the member, a uh, group member 2.0 is, is working or two. I'm just going to paste this little intro text there again I'm just taking this stuff directly out of my members area 
and now you can see we've got in here the the modules and then lessons and chapters which I'll go into in a moment I'm just going to save that and here we have our outline and as you can see this is our welcome um, section and then you've got module lesson chapter lesson and you can go in here and edit the settings in these so let's go with our first um, module I'm just going to open it up over here and let's click save there I'm sure they'll probably make it so that you can change the background on all of these uh, again these will be things that they'll modify and ed edit as we're going along and as I said I'll probably add this one and I won't mess around with any of the other ones it's just so you've got a uniformed um, look and feel oh, that's probably what I'd be looking at if we go back over to our outline inside of this lesson I've got um, or sorry inside of this module I've just got one lesson so I'm just going to add this here I'm going to edit it description again I'm just copying a few bits out of here I don't need to add this as a full-on and also you can add a featured image so uh, what I'll probably do is I'll add the thumbnail that we probably used for this one which is that one there and we'll click save there so again, you can see there that that, um, uh, that is too big. So I'll probably have to reduce the size on that. So that's fine. So then I can delete, clone, edit this one. I'm going to just delete it. And then I'll do the same thing. Oh, okay, cool. So now we've got, um, so you can go into all of these separately. So how the bot works some reason that didn't uh, copy or didn't change the name of that one so I'm just going to edit this one save that and you can see over here on the right hand side you can see the content popping up so it kind of fits there uh, that color again I would probably change when they're, they're hovering on it and then obviously they'll click access now Again, they can change the to tile or however they want the look or feel. It's kind of cool. And once you've set up um, this, which is, um, I think we said it was the lesson or the chapter, I can't remember. Let's now clone that because in my next, um, next module, uh, I want the setup to be the same. It saves me having to go in each time and change that background. Although that didn't bring that across. So I'm just going to go in and edit this. Okay, and then the subheadline. I'm just going to edit that. I don't know if I would have a description on all of these. I'm not actually sure where it puts it, but you can see again here we can add a featured image. So I'm going to go and find the thumbnail. It'll be in here somewhere from where we've added it. There. And we'll click save. So as you can see, we're, we're starting to get some content added in here. We've got our welcome. I'm not sure if it'll let me. Oh, okay. So I can click into each one there as well. If I change that. Oh, okay. So the description comes in just below there. So I definitely would say that it's worth having it because it does um, populate there. Yeah, I personally prefer that layout, but uh, and then people can click access now. Yeah, kind of like the look and the layout. It's looking good. So we'll just add a, um, maybe the next one. In fact, let's go into here into the templates so you can see here this is the template one that we're using with that sidebar and the featured image here then they're going to be adding some additional ones so again that will be coming soon 
So you can kind of see here now uh, that we're starting to get the, the look and feel of it. Obviously we've only got the two uh, lessons that we've added so far. Uh, if we come back out of there. So now when we click on courses, we can come in and see here that you can click to edit, you can change the course set or course uh, access levels, or you can go into settings. So I'm going to go into course access levels. And I'm going to go course access level here. Let's call this um, paid full. And obviously I'll add a, a um, sales page URL, instant access, or you can do drip content or custom. Click save. If we go into edit, we can now see those lessons, the few lessons that we added. And you can see here for the paid, we can obviously go in and distinguish whether they we want to give them instant access, dripped access, or we want to lock that. So let's just say, for example, um, those first two we're given for free. And then for, for whatever reason, we're locking the third. If we save that, then um, obviously we can go back in and, and create a, an additional level. And the same thing here, we'll just go in and, um, oh, we haven't actually had any lessons in here, have we? I don't think we did. Let's call this free access. I'll leave it as instant for the moment. I'm pretty sure that I don't, didn't add any lessons in that second one. Oh, no, we added, added the dummy one. So same thing here. You could um, lock though that one there. And let's say you wanted to drip feed that one in day one. Okay. Click save. And obviously here you would add your, um, your sales page and your course logo. Uh, let's just add that there. So you could put your order page there, save and exit. And of course you could do the same thing there. So we've come into the home again and gone into membership site. So now you can see here we can um, either use template one, which is um, a middle section with the login details or use the one on the left. So let's go in and customize this. Everything in here is editable. So you can see if we come over to login templates, again, we've got the option there to, to switch it out. And um, once I click on templates, I'm going to just click customize and it'll open up this um, controls over here. So I could change this out to, to say uh, login. Um, I could change this logo there. I can also change all of the colors around here. So let's change this background image. Let's go to free stock image and because it's already selected finance. Um, let's go and add, doesn't really matter at the moment, let's just click that one. So that's going to upload that into my images and then we can click save, let's click select. And then what I'll do is I'm going to add a little overlay of the red and again you can see there that I can make that darker or lighter however I want it. And you can see that, <coughs> excuse me. I can edit this background color here if I wanted to, but obviously that now blanks out all the text, so I could just switch out the text. And text label color is obviously very, um, very dark now. And I can also switch out the button, the sign, uh, the button color. Let's go with um, like a blue. And that's the overlay color that I've already edited, the button text color. Let's just go with white. So yeah, that page is pretty much done. The only thing I didn't change was the image, but that's fine if we click save. And now we can come back to the dashboard. 
So you can keep it all on point, you can keep it all branded. Uh, so courses, let's go back in here. So I could add another course now. So if I had a secondary course, let's just quickly add um, one of my other courses we have great for normal challenges I'm just going to paste that there because I haven't got anything to add um, again it doesn't matter I'm just going to add an image here and click save we'll click use there Same thing, it would automatically have created me um, a welcome, etc. So let's just get rid of that bottom one. Which is fine. Not, I'm not gonna mess around editing all of this. I just wanted to show you how you can actually change and, and add additional courses. When you come into membership access, this is where you can add like a bundle. So you can come in here and you could then offer maybe two different courses as a bundle and it would give them access to both. All you need to do then is come over to your product over here in GrooveSell and I'm just gonna clone um, the original, one of the original products and I'll just call it the new version. Uh, this one here, so let's clone this funnel let's just call it new member just so I remember um, and then all I need to do is click clone I didn't have to but I didn't want to mess around because the, the everything's live in this um, this product funnel we're selling um, we're coming out of beta now for the crypto bot I've noticed it gets frozen quite a lot on this page in GrooveSell with your product, so I just normally refresh and it normally appears and populates. So this looks like this is the the new one. And this is something that's new as well in, in GrooveSell, and this video is not about that, but you can enable a test mode. But I'm just gonna go in and edit this product. And the reason I'm doing that is I just wanna show you over here, very similar to how it was before, you can now come in here and add a membership so I'm going to remove the that one because that's the old in version one I'm going to go there new crypto bot the only access level that's showing me at the moment again as I said there's a little glitch there is the bundle one and then I'll click add and I'll do that for each one of those I'll just remove the old one take that one take that one and add that there I might as well do it for all four Okay, and then save. So that means when someone buys that, it automatically will send them out um, an email saying that they've um, they purchased and it will send them their login details. It's, it's getting there, obviously still in sandbox mode, but it's, it's really, really looking good. Uh, and then once you start um, getting inside of the members area and adding all your content, you can play around with it so that people can buy your other courses. They'll see the other courses, they've got to click on the button, it takes them to the sales page, you start making more revenue. Also, um, don't forget, I did say you can get access to $2,000 worth of my free bonuses. That will be popping up on the screen now, and it will be down in the comments down below, or down in the description. And look out for my next video, and that's it from me. Uh, have fun with your memberships, and I'll speak soon. Bye.